Hello, boys and girls. Guess what time it is? It's reading time. And we're reading this book, Octopus Stew, by Eric Velasquez. What do you think the story will be about, boys and girls? Good job. When Grandma saw my painting of Super Octo, she got the idea to make Pulpo Cusado, octopus stew. Not exactly my favorite dish, but Dad makes that, I said. Grandma snapped at me. I've been making Pulpo Cusado since your dad, Era Onino, since he was a boy. I didn't want to upset her, so I didn't ask any more questions. So later, while I was playing Super Ram with China, Grandma told me to get ready to go shopping with her. Grandma gave me a look and said, Que es esto? Boy, if you think I am going to the store with you wearing that silly cape, you've lost your mind. At the store, I saw lots of cool looking fish. I took pictures so I could look them up later on. Grandma picked the biggest octopus in the store. She said it was the best of the bunch. It looked like it was still alive to me and kind of creepy. Do you think the octopus is still alive, boys and girls? What do you think is going to happen next, boys and girls? Good job. I decided to do some web surfing when a warning popped up on my screen about octopuses. I tried to tell grandma, but she wouldn't let me. How often do I have to tell you to keep that thing in your pocket when you go out with me? She said, what do you think those warnings are about boys and girls? Good job. Back home, grandma unwrapped the octopus gave it a good scrubbing and put it in a pot of boiling water. I did my best to stay out of her way. Then grandma came to sit with me while I did my homework. All of a sudden, strange noises started to come from the kitchen. What do you think is happening now, boys and girls? Blimp, blump, brr, blimp, blump, brr. Que sera eso? What could that be? Grandma asks. Ramsey, que date aqui, voy a ver. Stay here. What is happening in this picture, boys and girls? Let's find out. The octopus got so big, it blew the lid off the pot. Wella tenga kudado. Grandma, watch out. I warned. Escondete, Grandma Allard. Hide. Thump. Thump. Blop. 
thump, brrr, thump, bloop, thump, blop. Vaminos, de aqui, I yelled. Let's get out of here. But it was too late. What happened, boys and girls? What's revealed in this picture? Good job. I grabbed my phone and hid until I could figure out how to rescue grandma. The octopus had to have a natural predator, something that it feared. I searched, and there it was, sharks. I grabbed my drawing pad and markers and drew the biggest, meanest, scariest shark I could create. I put on my super ram cape and marched into the kitchen. You put down my grandma, I yelled. The octopus dropped grandma and attacked, spraying ink all over my drawing. Dad interrupted. Okay, Mijo. Don't you think this is getting a little far-fetched? I mean, like, really, Ramsey? What does it mean when Dad says it's getting a little far-fetched? Good job. Hey, Dad, you broke my concentration. It's my turn to tell the story tonight. May I please finish now? What do you notice, boys and girls? Good job. Are you okay? I asked Grandma. Ramsey, que paso? She said. Voy a limpiar este desorden. What happened? She didn't seem to notice the 20 foot octopus behind her. Then I remembered the warning that popped up on my phone and read it out loud. Important before cooking an octopus, remove the eyes and beak. What? Cook me? Take out my eyes and beak? Why? Basta ya! That's enough! Senor Polpo, said Grandma. I changed my mind. We are no longer having Polpo Casado. Instead, we are having Ensalada sin polpo just salad no octopus and senor polpo joined us the end great listening skills boys and girls Now at the back, we have the glossary. And, if, and we notice that we have some Spanish in the story. And we have the translation for the Spanish words in the story. So check out the glossary. See you next time. And remember to read, read, and read some more.